Hey guys, my name is Doke and today I'm going back to school and I'm also heading to one of the biggest companies in the world. Almost. Let me explain. This is Devinska Nova Ves. This place is a part of my city Bratislava and it is a place where I painted this bike shop mural a few years ago and this bike shop mural many years ago. It is also a place where you can find one of the biggest factories in the country. I mean, they have their own ski lift over there. I'm talking about VW, Volkswagen. My grandfather used to work here, my uncle works here and right now you are probably thinking that I will paint a mural for them and you are wrong partly the thing is that this project is happening in a small part of this huge complex and Volkswagen has basically uh, nothing to do with it this building behind me is a high school more specifically dual academy students in here study technical subjects with a heavy focus on building of practical skills this project is happening in collaboration with the school not the factory and the wall that I will be painting is actually a fence between the school and the factory and this is a very long fence there are several things that concerns me about this project one of them is the structure of the wall I mean this is a very beautiful untouched concrete but there are these shapes these <sighs> These V shapes, they are everywhere on every single part of the wall. I am fully aware that these shapes will cause a lot of problems. But what do we do with problems? We face them. So let's go. The first problem is this pinky liquid. I have it because, as I said before, the fence is a pure raw concrete without any color on it which is awesome but if i want to do this properly i need to penetrate the wall first actually the very first thing that i gotta do is to clean the wall from any organic mess for sure it can be unorganic too <laughs> Okay, the projector is ready and you probably can't see it, but the design is already visible. So I can start with the step number one. <sighs> I'm not happy about this, but this tree, he has to go. Right now I need to apply tape which will help me to make everything very straight. The only problem might be that the tape doesn't stick to the wall all that well. Uh, I'm not gonna use the tape now. It will take too much time and I don't have that much time. So I will take the penetration and I will apply it to the wall. Uh, okay, forget everything I said. The only thing that I can do right now is apply chalk. There is no time for anything else. Hi. Update on the situation. Very surprisingly, I highly underestimated the amount of work that I had to do yesterday. So, we are kind of behind schedule, but it's fine. Yeah. Hey, no. stop it. You are here to help me, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, over here you can see my first lines from yesterday with chalk and because of the shortage of time I ended ah, in two thirds of the wall. But right now it's a day, so... The cleaning of the wall is just... And you can just guess what causes most problems. Yeah, these... <sighs> Let's penetrate. Oh yeah. 
morning welcome to the day three yes already day three it took me two days to do all this preparation but today it's finally time to use some color seriously man seriously see that that's a poop you find some lovely stinky poop somewhere around here ah. You disappointed me, buddy. I really hoped that I won't need to use a tape, but I will need to use a tape at some parts. Okay, painting on this surface is awesome, but... <laughs> This is a really good supplement for a tape. Uh, but it has its disadvantages. Uh, and right now, gently, I gotta do the inside. Okay, let's see the edge. Nice, perfectly straight. Right now I gotta do the other half. Okay, two layers applied. Let's see the result. Okay. Okay, this, what you see right now, is all I've done today. Eight hours of painting. <sighs> and the only reason why it took me so long are these waves. The fact that I'm painting 36 meters long wall and I still gotta use this tiny little brush is kind of ridiculous, but yeah. Let's get back to work. Unlike the previous days, it's windy today, which sucks because it's also cold and it makes everything <sighs> exactly that. By the way, to clarify the design that you are looking at, I'm gonna show you some shots from the inside of the school. 
This school actually has two parts. The traditional one where you study things like uh, Slovak language, math, etc. But then there is also the tech part with all these super interesting machines, computers, even cars and car engines. As I was walking around, it looked very interesting to me and, and the painting of my mural makes a lot more sense when I actually have seen what's going on inside behind these walls. All right, the next color that I'm gonna use is uh, orange. This is one of the main colors that this school uses in their logos and so on. I hope that the opacity of this orange will be good. Let's see. We will definitely need two layers, but it seems pretty nice. warm morning to all of you this is day who knows yet finish this beast the first thing that i want to do is something what i actually never did i want to get rid of the chalk the color is already dry so this should work <laughs> I'm very happy that this worked. I also have smaller stencils for smaller circles. <laughs> done so overall it took me five full painting days to finish this mural the reality is that i never ever painted for this long four days was my max till today till this project and it's funny because it's fairly simple design but there were a lot of complications right so guys please let me know in the comments below if you like the way how i illustrated what's going on inside of this school and if you like the overall look <laughs> it's getting cold again and with that said don't forget to check out my shop doco.com and this is it Big reveal is happening.
more specifically dual act dual uh, the cleaning of the wall is hyper physically showing so guys hip <laughs>